Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be drawing this. Uh, if you didn't know, that's the new city slash planet uh, called Dayu from the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series in the Star Wars, in the new Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi series. It's the newest Star Wars uh, TV series or project or whatever. And in my opinion, I think it's really good. But it's basically about Obi-Wan Kenobi's like backstory, or not backstory, more like uh, kind of backstory. I don't really know when, what time period it's set in, but yeah, it's about him, like his like adventures and saving Princess Leia. Yeah, it's kind of his backstory, I guess. But yeah, it's I think it's really cool and. I really like this planet, Dayu, because I just love futuristic and cyberpunk cities like this. So I decided why not draw it. So, uh, yeah, I just decided to draw it and make a video. But uh, also, I'm sorry for taking such a long break uh, from YouTube. It was like it's like the end of the school year, so. There's like a lot of tests and quizzes and stuff, so I was just kind of busy and I didn't really have time for YouTube. But now I'm back and I am I think I'm drawing better because I actually switched to Clip Studio Paint instead of Photoshop. And the reason for that is because Photoshop was... Photoshop is like not really built for drawing. Photoshop is mostly made for photo editing. and. I mean, you can, like, draw in Photoshop, and it's fine, but, like, you just won't get the same benefits as Clip Studio Paint, because in Photoshop, drawing is second and photo editing is first. Uh, for example, like, the main feature that I switched to Clip Studio Paint for was that it's so easy to blend colors. Like, in Photoshop, blending colors is impossible, and their blend tool does just does not work it's just like straight trash um but as you can see like right now i just blended those colors like super easily and fast uh something you can't really do in photoshop and yeah that's pretty much why i switched to clip studio paint but anyways right now i'm drawing these like signs uh glowing signs and the way I do it is I just like draw the sign with the brush tool and then I duplicate the layer. Then I put the duplicated layer under the original layer and then I click filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And then I set the Gaussian blur area to like 50 or 80 depending on how close it is. Uh, like in these ones that I'm drawing right now, the blue and red. I made the Gaussian Blur to 50 because it's kind of far away so it won't really have as big of a glow. There were actually like a lot of glowing signs in this city. So I thought about quitting but once I got the process down I could do it pretty quickly and easily so I decided to just stick with it and it worked. Now these brushes are city brushes. Uh, city lights brushes I will link them in the description but the creator and also the creators YouTube channel well, uh, they're free and it was really nice of the creator to make these because it makes drawing city lights just like way easier and actually I've used these brushes in a previous video of mine with the Singapore skyline since they the creator made Photoshop and clip studio paint versions since he was uh, generous and made both of them free to download so that's pretty nice
Alright, so this part, there were like an insane amount of lights, but it was pretty, they were pretty fun to draw actually, because after drawing them, I like to see like the glow, because I love like futuristic cyberpunk cities like this. Um, for example, uh, you might see that, yeah, did you see that pop up? That was the Singapore skyline. I really like the Singapore skyline and cities like Singapore, Tokyo, Seoul, Hong Kong because they give, they have like a really futuristic and cyberpunky vibe. Oh, don't. Oh yeah, um, Clip Studio Paint like crashed on that one, I, I think, but it saved my work. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I was saying I really like those cities because they give like a futuristic and cyberpunky vibe, and they have so many of these lights bright lights and like screens on their buildings and I just love the way they look and they're so nice like cities in the US aren't really like that because or actually I don't really know why but like New York actually New York's not bad like Times Square uh, that's probably the closest in the US we have to those cities and Vegas or Los Angeles, I've never actually been there, so I don't know. But I've seen a few pictures and they don't really look like that. And of course Providence, the like the only city in Rhode Island basically where I live. Um, I've been there obviously since I lived in Rhode Island, but it's nowhere near like, any of those cities. Like, so Tokyo, Hong Kong, Singapore. Yeah. I I like those cities because as I said before the bright lights and stuff and my parents are from Seoul too and I've been there or not Seoul, Korea, whatever. But yeah, I've been there before uh, like twice and it was just it was really nice, I guess. Oh, uh, one thing in this picture that was really difficult to draw actually was because as you can see the picture is like super grainy and so there's like it's like really noisy grainy blurry whatever so it's really hard to like see the details and pick the colors because of all that grain I actually researched it and apparently it's called film grain I don't really know why it exists but it's there and I have to deal with it. So I kind of had to like use some, use my imagination to add the details sometimes. But yeah, that made it very difficult. I don't really know why that happens. But... Now I'm basically finished with the top part, with the top half of the drawing. So now I'm drawing the floor. I drew the floor by just picking some colors and then drawing. It, it was like wet and there were reflections so I couldn't really see the base color of the floor. So I just took a bunch of colors and mixed them. and. I should have made the brush like I should have turned up the hardness because right now if you can see the floor it looks like smoke kind of since the it's so s soft like the edges so it looks like smoke and not a solid object now I'm making these like weird light things I don't know what to call them but I just made one and then duplicated it and put it on the other side as you can see here some artists like some traditional artists say that digital art is like cheating because you can do this and duplicate it but if anyone says that well they're lying because that's that's like not using like why would you not use a tool that's available for you and it really helps out a lot but uh, anyways right now I'm drawing one of the inquisitors inquisitors basically hunt down Jedi 
that survived after Order 66. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's very or don't look it up. Watch the movies. Yeah, watch the Attack of the Clones. But basically, they hunt down Jedi, and this one is the fifth brother. Their names are all like fifth brother, second sister, some third sister, something like that. I don't know why they do that, but I've I barely draw people or humanoids, so this one it was pretty hard, but it was fun, I guess. And the face of the Inquisitor didn't, of the fifth brother didn't really look that detailed, but I decided to just keep it because I couldn't really improve it since I just don't have enough practice with faces, I guess. And this stormtrooper, I basically just used the same technique I used for like the landscape, the background. I just picked colors and then drew them and then blended them. Then, but then the colors look too like strong and vivid and stormtroopers are supposed to be white. Uh, I, I'm talking about the, their armor, apparently, but um, so I just added like a, I just used a white brush, turned down the opacity and then added it on their armor to make it look like, to make it actually look like a stormtrooper. Then I just duplicated it, uh, changed some details to make them not look all the same, and that's basically it for the drawing. So now I saved it, exported it, and then actually took it into Photoshop because as I said before, Photoshop is for photo editing, and so I used it to make like the reflections and do uh, some post-processing to make it look better. I'll put the tutorial for the reflection in the description but it really helped a lot like you shouldn't I don't think you should just use one program for drawing like just blender just click studio paint or something I think you should use it a lot because it helps but anyways then I use camera raw filter to give it more of a cyberpunky sci-fi look and that's basically it for the video um so Thank you guys for watching, and remember to like, and subscribe, and all that stuff, and comment below what you want for my next video, and yeah, this is how it turned out, I just added some film grain at the, uh, added some film, film grain off camera to make it look more like the original picture, but yeah, that's it, so thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.